The top boss of Volkswagen says that he's more worried about the challenge coming from Hyundai than he is from Toyota. That's a major statement and high praise for Hyundai. You just have to look at the new face and it tells you everything of how far Hyundai have come. The new double grille, the chrome touches around here and the lights, look at the detail and the jewellery in here. They've now got a really expressive and an individual face. This is a car company that means business. It's full of interesting lines from whatever angle you look at it at. And look here, things like this, the chrome touch on the door, indicator lights in here. These are all the type of stuff you'd normally expect from a car sitting two or three levels above this but it's what now people expect from Hyundai. And things are just as interesting at the back. I love the way the lights wrap around from the body and coming in to the back end of the boot here. The nice flowing lines here, the mock diffuser at the bottom there. It's a little car, but it's full of character. It's described as a compact people carrier, but despite just being 4.1 meters long, it's a real little TARDIS when we get into the back here. It's got a good sized boot, and when you flick the back seats down, that increases up to over 1,400 liters of space. That's more than a Volvo V50 estate. And that's why I think I agree with the boss of Volkswagen. He does very well to be wary of Hyundai, because if they keep producing cars like this, they're gonna to continue to put on more and more sales. You have to keep reminding yourself sitting inside this iX20 that you are actually in a Hyundai. They really have made a dramatic transformation in the last few years. The interior is miles away from what it used to be. Dull, nasty plastics have been replaced by very, very smart interior package there. This could be a top line mainstream Japanese car there is now no difference. It's hard to believe how absolutely dull and boring Hyundai interiors used to be. Dull as ditch water and grey. Look inside here, this is just a very bright and fresh cabin. It's further confirmation that the Koreans are very much a force to be reckoned with. It's a choice of two petrol engines, 1.4 and 1.6 litre. The 1.4 does just over 50 to the gallon, and the 1.6 is round about 47 to the gallon. Pretty reasonable. But the one to go for, if you really want economy, is the 1.4 diesel I'm driving. It's not exactly a ball of fire, but there again, it's a 1.4 litre diesel for family buyers. But once you get it wound up, it goes reasonably well. It cruises perfectly happily, and it's quite refined at motorway speeds, but, and here's the best but, it actually delivers 65.8 to the gallon, and that's seriously good figures. Part of the reason is that it's got an intelligent stop-start system that cuts out when you're in heavy traffic, and then the engine automatically kicks back in as soon as you change back into gear. It's also very impressive on CO2 emissions, and it's all part of the Hyundai package that you always feel you're getting really good value for money.